President Zelensky has thanked the United States after Washington agreed to supply cluster bombs to Ukraine. It's a weapon that has been banned by more than 100 countries around the world, but Ukraine has been pressing for the artillery shells, which drop multiple explosives to help with their counteroffensive against Russian forces. Russia has been using the weapon since the start of the war. Human rights groups say cluster bombs kill indiscriminately and unexploded devices can pose a danger to civilians for many years. Our correspondent Gordon Carrera reports from Kyiv. Ukraine's counter-offensive has been underway for a month with heavy fighting in places like Bakhmut. But progress has been slower than hoped. Ukraine is short of ammunition and facing entrenched Russian defensive positions. That's why the pressure has been growing for its Western allies to provide more weapons, including cluster munitions. And today Washington gave the green light. Russia has been using cluster munitions since the start of this war to attack Ukraine. In this environment, Ukraine has been requesting cluster munitions in order to defend its own sovereign territory. These are the type of cluster munitions the US will supply. They scatter tiny bomblets, but they are highly controversial. The munitions scatter indiscriminately over a wide area. Some so-called duds do not explode, leaving a threat to civilians often for years into the future. Very disappointed with the news today, and we condemn it in the strongest, in the strongest sense. Uh, the transfer of cluster munitions is contrary to international law and will lead to civilian harm. There is already evidence that Russia has been using cluster bombs inside Ukraine, like here in Kharkiv. More than 120 countries have signed a convention banning their use, but the US, Ukraine and Russia have not signed up to the ban. More than 50 civilians were killed in this Russian attack last year on a railway station in Krematorsk. Many of them were women and children trying to flee the conflict. There's strong evidence that this was a cluster munition attack. Here in Ukraine, defence officials say cluster munitions could make a significant difference on the battlefield, helping them break through Russian defences. Kiev argues that Russia has been using the weapons in Ukraine, so Ukraine should have the right to use them on its own territory for its own self-defence. But providing these cluster munitions has been divisive both within Washington and among allies who've been providing weapons to Ukraine. NATO's Secretary General today had to tread carefully. Is there not a risk that we could see first cracks in NATO's unity? When it comes to uh, cluster ammunition, uh, there is a difference between allies because some allies have signed the convention on cluster munitions and they don't have a cluster munitions. So, of course, there is no uh, cluster munitions to provide to Ukraine. <laughs> President Zelensky has been on the move today in Slovakia, the Czech Republic and Turkey, drumming up support ahead of next week's crucial NATO summit in Lithuania, calling for membership and more weapons. All through this war, Western weapons have been vital for Ukraine, but there's sometimes frustration that they've not come as quickly as Kyiv wants. Cluster bombs have now been promised, but their arrival could prove controversial. Gordon Carrera, BBC News, Kyiv. Well, let's go to Washington now and speak to our correspondent there, Gary O'Donoghue. And, Gary, President Zelensky is very pleased that the US has agreed to supply cluster bombs. They are not without controversy, though, are they? No, Sophie, and the US has been thinking about this for a very long time. Cognizant, I think, that many of its allies, two-thirds of NATO members, have banned their use. So they know this is going to be a difficult one for the coalition members to go along with. So they've been putting a lot of effort into persuading other countries that this is the right decision. And they've come to this decision mainly because producing enough of the standard shells uh, is taking time. They have hundreds of thousands of these cluster bombs uh, in reserve here in the United States. And they believe that the Ukrainians have given them sufficient assurances that they won't be used in urban areas and they will help to be help them to clean them up after the war. All those assurances will go on, I think, stony ground in terms of the campaigners out there. But for the Allies, it does seem to have done the trick because while there's been some criticism from places like Germany, uh, you can understand that some countries will have to say something for domestic consumption. But cracks in the coalition do not seem to be appearing. 
and any resistance from Congress here seems to be over, have overcome as well. Republicans wel welcome it, and only a handful of Democrats expressing their opposition to it. So this has been a long diplomatic process, but the US does seem to have got to a position where it can supply these without ruining the unity of the coalition that's facing Russia.